And this is Ron Schreier, and I'm at Gallery 908 for Peter Kinney opening of The Feather Lover. Now Peter paints with earth and natural materials, stone, sand, a lot of dirt, dirt that he has gathered from different parts of the United States and other areas, and he's mixed them with uh, different kinds of acrylic medium, mostly. And layers them onto his pieces. I really enjoy how he puts all these things together. And this is called Feather Loving Critter here. Now in here we got feathers and bones and branches and butterfly wings and uh, and uh, in one part here, a bracelet that made of dried jasmine flower that he accumulated in Taiwan. Now up here, we have uh, seed pods and stones, all attached to some heavy duty paper. Oh, yeah. He also has some Indian ink works over here. Like this one here is called Moon Over Coxcomb Bay. And this one over here is called Nocturne Main Coast. Of course, the centerpiece of the show is an untitled it's an untitled piece that is an installed piece that he has, that he has put all kinds of uh, natural detritus in here uh, from outside. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, there's stones, feathers, seeds, bones, sweet, sweet gum, uh, branches, just an untitled piece that is installed on the floor of the gallery. And let, let me bother the artist for a statement here just for a moment. Sure. Hi, you're, you're being recorded, sir. Very good. So we'll talk. How are you? I'm good. Good, thank mm -hmm. you. Just a, just a, a, a quick, uh, I would say, uh, idea of what you do for uh, okay. Internet audiences. Um, well, I'm, I'm a visual artist that uses natural materials in collage and installation form and in permanent form, semi-permanent form. And uh, I like to play mud and uh, carve my different earths and uh, make into mud and fly surfaces. And uh, uh, that includes about everything, doesn't it? Except sculpture. But I love ink. These are works over here. Ink. I like uh, the night. I love the moon. The mystery of the night. Mm -hmm. Well, so much of your work is based on the cycles of weather, the seasons, uh, you know, nat natural phenomenon, the light and, and shadow, and, and the way that the, uh, the that the earth has its own different color sense. So, uh, Absolutely. The, uh, the moment, too, that I'm in of the earth, the season that relates to that. Mm -hmm. Like in the fall, I'll make the symbols of leaves on my turf because the colors are there on the leaves. Yes. Or the petals are falling. I'll use whatever is falling from the branches from the flower pots. And I'll make art of it. And I may document it with a photograph. Mm -hmm. and, uh, or I may make permanent and make it permanent on paper. So some of the, some of this work relates to uh, earthworks of maybe the 1960s. Yeah. Some works by, by say, on Ana Mendieta and, uh, and maybe... Uh, uh, well, yeah, I think the, the awareness of the earth was something that was in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they were inspired by the sand painters mm -hmm. and by the first artists of our cultures, the Southwest, Stone Age people. Southwest artists and, 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 and sand uh, painters of the, uh, maybe the, the, uh, the East, uh, the, the East, a, yeah. Asian artists with mandalas. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So all goes into the pot. They're, they're definitely uh, a wonderful uh, mm -hmm. background for what I do. 
but there's also a form, there's also a formalist aspect to this as well, because what you're doing is you're putting all of this stuff and attaching it to paper. Um, yeah. You don't use canvas at all, or uh, I have I have used canvas. Not, not currently, I'm not using canvas. I like the paper as a service. I like to see. Mm-hmm. Right now, but I have done big canvases, both stretched and unstretched, mm -hmm. uh, with materials, sticks, and, and leaves, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, uh, but my can, my primary canvas is the earth. I like to work mm -hmm. on the ground here, or I could like to yeah. form any uh, any surface on the on the earth, on the ground, into an artwork. Assembling materials that I find nearby or far away or a combination of. Mm -hmm. I use as much as what comes, what I see outside my back door as I do from my frequent walks and travels to different parts. Because I'm a bird, I like to move around. Mm -hmm. I like to see different things. I like to see a lot of the world. Mm -hmm. And then when I do, I'm fascinated by the beautiful objects and the vistas and all. Pick things up. Birds, feathers, sands, rocks, pebbles, uh, seeds, and bring them back in the uh, My pocket and all my back incorporates them in works. Where I'll work right as I go. I'll do a lot of work as I go, and I document it. So you pick up the earth as you go. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll make, I'll make yeah. work where I can. Or if I spend any length of time somewhere, I'll make work right where I am. So it becomes installation, site specific site installation. Site specific installation. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Peter, for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you, Ron, for your interest. Oh, we love you. We love you, buddy. Okay. Too bad. And I have a lot of insects that I have collected, and I'll use them in things like this, kind of, uh, like that cicada there. And uh, even flower petals, it, um, uh, flowers that, uh, that's an inside plant, that those just died within the last couple weeks. But I have older ones, and I like to transition from the very bright colors to the soft and uh, using them when I can. Spruce and moon. Black coal. Storm coming in. The piece here is called Moon Over Ocean Month of the Matar. And this one here, Moonrise, Month of the Matol, too. Or Mouth of the Matol, maybe that's wrong, it's Mouth of the Matol. Moonrise, Mouth of the Matol. Okay. I'm at Gallery 908. For Peter Tinney, the Feather Lover. This is Ron Shira, thank you so very much.